What up guys, Mad Scientist 7 a 90 your favorite wrestling shooter and hip-hop enthusiast. Now, uh, I don't have the same hat on as I usually wear. Uh, kind of just threw this one on, haven't worn it in a while. So it's kind of cold here in St. Louis. So I decided to uh, change it up a little bit. Um, but with this video here, the topic I, I really want to talk about is, um, you know, ever since about, uh, I'd say 2009, probably late 2009, um, Ring of Honor has kind of plateaued. They've kind of, you know, I, I know they've got a TV deal, and I know that, um, you know, they did that whole deal, and, and they're running pay-per-views, and they're doing, you know, well. But uh, to me, plateauing as, a, as in the quality of their shows, um, you know, since Death Before Dishonor 8, um, you know, that which I, I would consider their last great show, you know, since beforehand, you know, this 2007, 2006 era, um, I would say that's the last great, great pay-per-view they had, um, and show, actually, I mean, you know, they've had some good, good show, good pay-per-views, but not really to the quality of what I thought, and I kept thinking to myself, um, you know, is the problem with Ring of Honor, is it, is it Jim Cornette? Because, you know, um, I've, I've thought about it for a while, and I've really went back and watched other footage of, you know, uh, other wrestling companies back in the 80s, and, you know, uh, particularly Smoky Mountain Wrestling and, and, and NWA and that kind of stuff, and, you know, and it just seems like, you know, Cornette is one of those guys who is about what he likes, and, and, and you know, he's all about the dinosaur age of wrestling, and he wants to kind of just, he wants what he wants, and he wants to run the company, you know, and book it the, you know, or not really, I don't, I know Delirious is still booking, but, you know, Cornette has a lot of say and a lot of stuff that's going on, and I know that um, the reason Gabe Sapolsky was fired in the first place was Kerry Silken um, really wanted to go with more of a old school feel, more of a, you know, a Smoky Mountain wrestling type style where the way the wrestling is a bit different and the way the booking is a bit different and, you know, they always do the this guy hates this guy angle or, you know, this guy does this angle. Um, and it's really just the same thing over and over and over again. Or they have this guy face this guy, you know, five, six times in the you know past five months. And it really takes a toll on Ring of Honor's quality because back in the, you know, the day, back in the 06, 07, you know, they were producing great paper, not pay-per-views, but, well, in 07 they were, but great show after great show after great show. And it could be, you know, uh, you know mostly, mostly because of the talent, I guess you could say as well, but the booking was, it is different now. And it really seems like Ring of Honor is, is right here and they've been right here since like 2009. Like they really haven't you know, produced 2010, you know, early 2010, they really haven't, you know, uh, progressed. They haven't peaked, you know, and got it. They, they're really just right here and they haven't gone any higher as, as my expectations. Now, I've been a, a you know, a, lot, a long, I say a life, not lifelong, but since they've been almost, you know, I've heard about them back in the early 2000s. I never really started watching them until mid 2000s. I really jumped on it in like 2006, 2007, you know, when they were really hot. And ever since then, I've been a fan, and I've been watching and getting their shows. And, and, you know, as of recently, I really just haven't wanted to put the money and the effort into buying a lot of their, sh like, house shows. Or, you know, I, we get you know we get their pay-per-views now, but back then, their house shows were what, you know, really were, were great, great shows. And they're just not producing on all levels like they used to. Um, you look at a company like Pro Wrestling Gorilla, who, you know, one runs one show, two maybe two on a good, on, you know, on a good month, two shows, you know, a month or something like our, you know, uh, Bola or, or uh, you know, All Star Weekend. They run two shows. I mean, they they come out swinging every show and really try to just do great, great things each show. Um, it seems like now that they're, you know, Ring of Honor's taping. I mean, they're really not taping that much, that much matches. I mean, you go and watch a lot of the stuff that Ring of Honor's doing, and 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 you know, they have maybe one or two matches on the show, and then they have a lot of, you know in between stuff. I think they're doing a great job with that. But to me, they just haven't really gotten, you know, progressed. They really haven't progressed. And I think part of the reason is, you know, um, the people behind the company really just aren't, you know, they don't want to do much change. They really just want to stick with what's making them, you know, kept them where they're at. I mean, and I think, and I really think part of it has to do with, with Jim Cornette and, 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 and even Kerry Silken, you know, he's had the company for so many years, but Gabe Sapolsky was booking in, and Adam Pierce was booking in, and the Delirious is now booking in. And, and just, you know, 
it just seems like they really they're really stuck and, and I think part of the blame may be you know that old school wrestling mentality where they want to book you know they want this like this and they want you know it to be at this kind of level and, and they just you know you're in a different era and and hybrid wrestling and, and hybrid storylines and, and this and that is really what's going to catch people's eye a lot of the stuff that happened back in the, the 80s isn't going to be popular anymore it's not the dinosaur era you know, I remember watching, um, they had that documentary on, on indie wrestling um, that was pretty popular with a lot of wrestling fans. And they had, you know, Ring of Honor on there, and they had the Danny Inferno guy, and they had Zima Ion, and they had these guys cutting promos and showing the life of an independent wrestler. And they showed, you know, um, you know Zima Ion, a guy who, who I think has a, had a, you know, has a great character. His character is really blooming in TNA, um, and his ability as a wrestler is, is very good. If for whatever reason they didn't snag him up, um, to credit what I'm saying is, you know, re- t- you know, everyone in Ring of Honor really wrestles the same style. They don't have anybody different or unique. I mean, they have guys that have been there for for a long time, and then they just keep throwing guys in there that really wrestle that that style that they've had for the last couple of years. That Davy Richards style. They don't have, you know, a guy who can who can do high flying stuff. They really don't have a hybrid type guy. You know, and it, I don't know. It just seems like to me, it's really just that's the reason why so many fans are so you know like of Ring of Honor so like, and this is stale. This is so the same because it has been the same for the last three years. They, you know, a lot of people are blinded by what's you know what's really going on in Ring of Honor because, you know, a couple you know last year all the all the Ring of Honor fans cared about was, Davy Richards is he's got to win the title. He's he's Davy Richards is going to win the title this year, and then the year before that. Fans were, you know, blinded by the, the the amazing, which was which is one of the best things they've done. You know, um, this you know the amazing, you know, Steen and Generico feud, but but you know it, it really just seems like the fans out there of the company, because since I've been a fan such such a long time, those who jumped in there at that 09 you know period until now, only really know the, the the Ring of Honor of new. They don't really know what happened you know years ago, and I don't know. It just seems like that old school mentality of of you know. This guy is. This guy hates this guy, and blah 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 blah. And we can't have any high flyers. We want to, you know, keep it this way. We want to have these guys face these guys. The problem is, you know, here, pretty soon, you know, those guys are going to start, you know, moving up the ranks, and they're going to get start getting signed by WWE and by TNA, and they're going to be out of there. You know, uh, Hero, Claudio, Black, those guys are gone. You know, those guys are absolutely out of there, and and. You know, it's only a matter of time before, you know, Steen and Steens and Genericos, you know, Davey will probably end up eventually getting out of there and going to stay in Japan or doing firefighting or whatever it is he's going to do. You're not going to have, you're going to have to rely on a, on a young breed of talent. Um, and the perfect example of, of that hybrid style of talent that, 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 you know, Ring of Honor has not picked up. Uh, and I don't know if it's just, you know, the talent didn't want to work for Ring of Honor. I'm sure that's not the case, but... Um, you know, really showcasing their talent, and guys like you know Cole and O'Reilly here on the undercard, who really, who don't get to show as much as they they can and, and, and talk as much. If you want to see Adam Cole, you know, be great, you know, check out his stuff he does in CW, CZW. Check out the stuff he did in WXW. I mean, he he's, he plays a great heel in, in those companies. And then you know, and then it, you really just don't see the guys, younger guys, progressing. You really have those just guys that that are at the top, and they really know exactly what they want. Where you look at a company like Dragon Gate USA, where you know the booking is kind of eh, you know at at times, but they have a lot of great hybrid style wrestlers, um, a lot of some you know a lot of talent out there that people are huge fans of right now or a part of that company. You, you know you're you got your Sammy Callahan, you got your you know John Moxley before he left, you know he was he was a hybrid style type guy. You you have uh, you had Austin Aries and he left and you know went to TNA and, and you have Rich Swan and Gargano and. And, and those kind of guys and, and, and you know Chuck Taylor so I mean these guys are a hybrid style wrestler where they can do these high flying things and this and that I mean li- really you literally look at the high the high, uh, high flying guys you really have I wouldn't even consider El Generico a high flyer he just does high flying spots every now and again I think the fact that they want to lean towards that old school 80s mentality of it being like a Smoky Mountain wrestling and, and it's really hurting the product and I think the 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 Jim Cornette, you know, and I don't want to say idea, just kind of like influence on the company 
I feel like it's it is really hurt. It's kind of hurting the fans' perception of it. You know, it's gonna get. It's gonna. You know, it's plateauing right now. It's really not progressing. The show is is okay. I mean, the the matches are okay, but we're really just. I mean, other than guys, just certain guys' individual efforts. You know, like Kevin Steen and, and stuff like that. Other than that, I mean, you're really just the entertainment entertainment value of of the show is just not as good as it could be. Um, you know, and, and I've always said, you know, Ring of Honor is one of those companies where they're always just consistent. They, they're, you know, they're, they're being consistent in the last year or so, and they haven't really done anything to really just amaze me. Um, you know, they've had good shows, and they've had this, and they've had that, but they just haven't any where I could just be like, yeah, that was that was outstanding. You know, even though WWE had that kind of, you know, that up and down year, they had the, 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 the big, you know, money in the bank stuff, and... and, and you know, and they had that thing, and just Ring of Honor just hasn't had that. And I, and I'm not I'm not bad mouthing Ring of Honor at all. I'm such a huge, you know, I'm a huge fan. I really am. I have you know my shirt on, and and I really am a fan of the company. But I just feel like uh, the Cornette mentality and influence, you know, behind the scenes, um, booking and, and and with certain stuff and and you know, talent that really I, just being a talent consultant and bringing guys in, it just seems, you know, the talent that they have there is 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 just been there, and they really don't have. Ring of Honor is a company that continually needs to keep rolling in new guys because, you know, WWE is going to throw out those contracts and these guys are going to book it, you know, and and that's really a stepping stone to, a, you know, the next level. A lot of people are like, Ring of Honor is my company, blah, 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 but a lot of guys get into the ring, get into ring of Honor because they're the top indie fed, you know, as wrestlers, they try to get in there to get to that next level, to get to that WWE, to get to that TNA, and... You know, some people don't really, you know, realize that that, yeah, they are the third company, but they're basically a stepping stone to those other companies, and they need to constantly be rolling talent in, because, you know, how many Roderick Strong versus you know Eddie Edwards matches are we going to see? Granted, they're they're pretty good matches, but you just you just get tired of them. It, if people are going to, you know, WWE fans out there are going to say, you know, oh, I'm so tired of, of 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 you know, I was so tired of John Cena versus Randy Orton, they just kept doing it. Well, they just keep doing Eddie Edwards versus Roderick Strong, and it's the same thing. Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards, and, 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 you know, granted, I mean, El Generico and Kevin Steen are such, they do such great things together, but it, it's, again, it's over and over and over again. And how many times are we going to see the Briscoes versus the world's greatest tag team? So, the, now, the one exception to this, before I get out of here, is, is really the synergy thing they're doing. They're working with Chikara, and I know a lot of the Chikara talent's not going to stay there. But that is a show that, me personally, I'm um, looking forward to either buying or going to because, you know, it just, to me, it seems like it's going to be something different and something fresh. And, and like I said, I've said this before, you know, Ring of Honor is, is, is gotten stale, and I think it may be that Jim Cornette influence. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. I ran it on here for a while about it, but um, that's what I truly feel, and I think that, um, you know, some people are going to start seeing it more and more and more um, as the TV show progresses, and, and you go back and you look at those those Smoky Mountain wrestling type things, and, and you see how the influence of Jim Cornette, and you know, really getting with Kerry Silken, and, and really wanting that old, you know, they really need to just, just hybrid. It's it, it's 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 a different era in wrestling now, and and fans want something new, and they want something you know interesting and creative. They better watch out because um, you know when when wrestling retribution project debuts, if it does great and it's you know does a great job, that could really steal some of their thunder if. You know, it does well, and they do another season. They could have guys going over there and and doing that. So who knows? I just thought I'd throw that out there. I've been thinking about it for a while. I'm the mad scientist, your favorite shooter and hip hop enthusiast. I'm out of here, deuces, people. <laughs>